Woo! I just gotta, y'all gotta get into the. Yeah, Let's just I'm say. Come on now. Woo! Woo! Hey, cuz. Hey, 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 hey! Ain't seen you in a long time. Hey, Granny. Hey, Uncle. Ain't seen you in a long time. Another family with you guys. Good to see you looking good. You're looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Anthony Davis. And if you go and get his original album, I forgot what that album was called. Hey, Anthony, what was that original album called? It, it's from, it's Kenfolk, but I forgot the name of the album. And I will implore you, go ahead and take a listen to. Anthony, because I know for a fact you will like this song by this young man. This song and the rest of the album, to be honest with all of you, ladies and gentlemen, I only got a couple of minutes, okay? Only got a couple of minutes so that I can take the time to explain to y'all, okay? Uh, The other day, I did a video, and I talked about Matrix um, Deja Vu moment was the uh, portion of the title. And I noticed, what's wrong with you, boy? Why you put Matrix in the title? Now you know they're going to say something about that. Ladies and gentlemen, they accused me of supporting the insurrection of January 6th. Now, I kid you not. Because I used the word insurrection. When I used the word insurrection, I was speaking about public officials and how they violate individuals' rights. And when they join together as a group, they are required to uphold the Constitution. At least that is the oath they were supposed to have taken, which they did not. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I said. I said that amounts to insurrection against the people, the sovereignty of the United States rest in the people. When they violate the people's rights, it amounts to insurrection. Ladies and gentlemen, they gave me a strike. Now, many of you don't know, a little bit more than 90 days ago, it will be 90 days exactly tomorrow, they gave me a strike because I talked about a miracle so-called minerals. No warning, just a strike, as if I did something blatant. All I did was a commentary on news footage. I'm not going to battle with Google right now. I can't afford to. What you bam, bam, it's Uncle Leroy. See, we're going to move over here because I don't have a problem with Bright Eon because Bright Eon, man, Bright Eon TV. Okay, it's like it was, it was, it was meant to be, people. Oh, y'all don't understand Eon TV. By the way, what I have to do is I have to download um, a template that allows me to play videos, that allows me to upload videos, because that's what Eon TV is all about. Now I do have the template. I just have to do the studying as to the coding for it. Okay. And there are several people who have done videos on it, and I've downloaded the videos. I'm just going to have to take the time. So by the first, I will take the time. It has taken me, let me pull up so you guys can see, the better part of five days just to get my Microsoft Word working. The reason being is because the version of Word that I had, it would not load up without downloading from the internet. Even though I have the full program, it wanted to download from the internet. And then it kept running into a snag because the internet speed wasn't always constant because I'm using a computer, two computers, a tablet, a cell phone, all of that stuff. So it was creating a problem. And I couldn't figure out a workaround. Microsoft had a workaround, but they didn't put it out there blatantly. You had to search for it. And so I found it. So Word, as you can see, is loading up. No errors or anything. This is 2019. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, 
I need to show you all something. Then I'm going to go on back about my business. I was content to not do any videos for the next two weeks because that's what Google was doing. I'm going to restrict the account for two weeks. The Matrix video is back up. What I did is I appealed and I told my people on the phone when we were doing our meeting, I said, watch and see, they deny my appeal before even 15 minutes are up. The video is over an hour long, but I say, watch and see, they deny my appeal, because I told them, explain exactly to me what I said that violated your policies. Just that, that's all I told them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they ignored that and told me they were going to uphold the decision after review. After review. So I wrote them back and said, wait a minute, hold on. You all are an administrative organization. I'm appealing your denial of my appeal. You are part of the Administrative Procedures Act because you are a member of the executive branch, which means you fall under the Executive Procedures, I mean the Administrative Procedures Act. That means that act applies to you. You are registered with the Secretary of State. That means that you must abide by the Administrative Procedures Act. It's called the McDade Amendment. Ladies and gentlemen, I told them, this is retaliation. You knew that the so-called sanctions you imposed were up on the 24th, and you decided to do this now? Oh, no, I don't think so. Uh, my Internet is not up, and I'm going to have to take care of that. And I, I, Oh, I know why it's not up. I'll take care of that to upload the video because it was up a minute ago because I was able to go to this site. Okay, so we'll, we'll take care of that. But anyway, I wrote them back, told them that, and they wrote me back today saying after further review, it turns out I did not violate their policies, that they made a mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, I was getting ready to, by the 5th of January, file a lawsuit against Google, but it wasn't going to be a regular lawsuit because I already did the arbitration against them. I was going after them for a breach of the agreement because they never contested the arbitration agreement. And remember, all of my emails, when they do their, because Google's changing their terms and conditions. But when I did the appeal, I sent them notification respecting the terms and conditions. Because the appeal I sent them was through my email. Okay? And previously, I sent them a copy of the terms and conditions. But I just let them know that I do not accept their change in terms and conditions. And no, I'm not going to stop using the platform. I will slow down using the platform because I, they are trying to put enough pressure on people to where they don't want to do videos anymore on YouTube. I'm almost there. That's why I was just going to do them on my site and send people to my site. Those who are my people, that's where I would have them go. I know it's another website you have to click on, but that's what I was prepared to do. Because my thing is, I'm just talking into a microphone. If people can benefit from the information such as this right here, ladies and gentlemen, pay attention to this. Universal, universal, universal. The entire country. Loan identifier. If you do your research, you'll find that the Bureau, known as the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, has a algorithm that they've created that creates these numbers for these idiots. The Bureau created a check digital tool that can be used to generate a check digit. The check digit tool can be found here, consumerfinance.gov. Ladies and gentlemen, go and take a look. This says this was updated. Sorry about that. That's me doing too many things and moving up with the, mic, uh, the mouse. Um, 2018. Now, it wouldn't do people any good who have mortgages that were predated, would it? Well, actually, that's not true because according to this, the data format and analyzation, a financial institution shall collect data regarding applications for covered loans that it receives, covered loans that it originated, and covered loans that it purchased for each calendar year. How far back do they have to go? Well, let's find out exactly when all of this started. Now, I don't have long because we have a meeting tonight. This is the commission's meeting. 
We have a lot to talk about. This is where they come up with the loan numbers, ladies and gentlemen. So let me tell you what I did. I put the actual source of the code. This is a federal regulation. Okay? This is 76 Federal Regulation 78468. This is an administrative policy. They're an administrative agency, administrative corporation, because they're under the Secretary of the State. Once they're under the Secretary of the State, they fall under the administrative branch of government, the Administrative Procedures Act. Okay? December 19th, December 19th, December 19th, 2011. So you can go back as far as that, ladies and gentlemen, with your loan number. And if they change it, they cannot do it. They ain't got no choice. Hey, uh, Darius, we're going to play you next time, okay? Right now, we're going to skip you. We can go to Al, because he's talking about men and broken hearts. And I ain't played Al and broken heart in a long time, y'all. With his gay-looking self on this album. I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I, look, I, I'm sorry. I apologize. Lord have mercy if that wasn't what he was aiming for when he did that picture for that album. Oh, Lord. Anyway, and then he want to talk about any. I apologize, y'all. This is the part I want to get to. Yes, I'm a fool. All right, generating a digital check. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to see what they must do in order to create a number. It ain't just them creating their own number. There is a method to it. Pay attention to how the number is created. Look at what each letter represents. Okay? Sorry about the beeping, but that's me rolling this mouse up. This is the whole section, ladies and gentlemen. There is a method to the madness, okay? Then they give you examples. That's why I'm telling you guys, they can not just change that number because they feel like it. There is a method to it. Do not back down off of the fact that they are foreclosing on a different transaction number. That's your phrase, ladies and gentlemen. It is a transaction number. Pay attention. That's what that number deals with, a transaction. So if you have a different number, it's a different transaction. Pay attention to me. If it's a different transaction, then what the – bring the information for that transaction. What you're referring to has nothing to do with that transaction. You follow me, people? Do not let the courts, just like I just did with Google, people, I do not back down. I do not walk away. I do not step away. Just because somebody says no, you don't accept no for an answer. Appeal every decision. And then when – you appeal that decision, and you appeal the next decision. That's what you do, people. That's what you do. I have a young lady who contacted me because we're working on her appeal, and she's pressing because the clerk of the court wrote her and told her she needed to correct some things. She thinks they rejected the paperwork because of the documents I gave her. She doesn't understand. They rejected the paperwork because she did her own, pay attention, she did her own financial indigency document, her fee waiver. She did her own fee waiver. Ladies and gentlemen, technically she, she could do that. But because it was so generic, they rejected it. If you take a look at the documents I gave you, they're from another court website. Of course they're in the proper format because the court system is uniform. Go ahead and look at the uniform court system. Every state has a uniform court system. The country has a uniform court system. Pay attention, people. I didn't start doing this yesterday. Okay? Now, look, hey, 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 hey. he's asking you all a question. While he's asking you all that question, I got to tell you all, thank you guys for being around. Those of you who were a little bit worried, concerned, or interested, this is so that you know what went on. All right? I got to go. Y'all take care, okay? Got to go, got to go, got to go. 15 minutes and five seconds.